Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit that notification bell. Give me the updates. Uh, really excited for today's beer. And um, if you want to just watch the review, uh, fast forward a little bit. So, unfortunately, I did an unboxing video and it got, like, corrupted or whatever. And um, luckily, I didn't do the review before I saw that. So, I was able to maybe talk a little bit. Uh, about the same things I hit in the unboxing video, but uh, th this beer I got a six pack and it was sent by the Wandering Naps, and um, they also have a YouTube channel and it in Instagram. But it's unlike any that I've probably ever talked about on this channel. Um, we have like commented on each other's stuff before, but um, uh, I don't think I've ever mentioned them. But anyway, it's just it's really cool. It's a family, and they sent me some stuff I'll show in a second. Uh, besides the beer. It's a family from Texas, and basically they sold everything, bought a boat, and they li are right now living in the Florida Keys, and um, and they do you know vlogs about their experiences, and I mean it's really cool. You can see, I mean sometimes you know they're, they're stressful things. Sometimes there's like really cool, unique things, you know, like like maybe they have to fix their boat, right? That's like stressful, but then there's like some cool stuff, you know, with with uh, swimming, scuba, all that kind of stuff, and yeah, it's just rad and. Um, uh, they reached out. They're like, "Hey, have you had any, you know, beers from the Florida Keys?" And I'm like, "I don't think so." So they sent up this one. But actually, let me show this in a sec. It's really sweet. Like, so they have some stickers. They sent me some stickers, and I'll definitely link to them uh, in the uh, description box. I'm going upside down the wrong way. Doing things backwards is hard sometimes. And then this really awesome magnet of them and their family. Um, but again, you know, I'll um, I'll put a link to their channel. And um, anyway, this one's called Iguana Bait, and I have had this. So they sent a six pack, and I ended up bringing a bunch. I think I think four of them I brought uh, to drink uh, at my grandparents' um, anniversary party. And I was just realizing I either drank them out of a can or poured them into like those uh, Yetis. So like I don't know what color it is, but I think it's probably like a reddish pink because Iguana Bait is a coal style ale brewed with hibiscus and local honey. 5.1% ABV. So I think with that hibiscus, it's probably going to give it like a reddish pink color. Um, it's Florida Keys Brewing Company, locally brewed beer, Iguana Bait, a crisp, refreshing beer inspired by the invading iguana's love for hibiscus flowers. I never knew that. Like, that's pretty interesting that, uh, that apparently, like, they go crazy for hibiscus. Um, Iguana Bait is 100% locally owned and brewed in the Florida Keys. And... I think you know okay it wasn't bottom stamp but on the six pack holder it was this beer is very fresh i remember it had on the top of that sticker that said when it was brewed and it was a very very fresh beer at this point maybe like two weeks old um if you watch this channel a lot you know i haven't had a lot of kolsch ales um it's it is an ale, and then uh, part of it is uh, fermented like a lager, so you you know can get a little bit of that. Um, I'm really excited for this, not only because it's a Kolsch and something I don't typically drink, but the adjuncts. I love tea, and I have had plenty of hibiscus tea in my life, and I love honey, and I use uh, honey in tea specifically a lot. So, um, and, and I'll wait till I guess again the re review to talk more about that. Yeah, let's see if uh, I'm right about the color. Okay, so it's definitely not as pink as I was thinking, but like, ah, oh, come on, Dirty Glass Mafia. I hope the lighting is helping. If you look at the head, the head does have this pink thing. The the beer, it, it does, like it's orange. What I'm seeing is a little different than what you guys are seeing. You're seeing more actually a very honey color, and I have some of that, but it's much lighter and I guess from what I'm seeing, it's like honey with a little kiss of pinkness. I'm not sure if what you th what you're seeing, if you agree or think about. Oh my goodness, first beer I can't even talk. Um, but the head, because the lighting looks very white on camera, it does have a slight pink note to it, like you took white and mixed in a teeny tiny amount of like red food coloring, um, like as as little as you could do. And notice the result, you know, like that's where it's at. So it's it's very faint in terms of what the hibiscus is doing to the color. Um, yeah, it's not just chill haze; it looks unfiltered. I mean, you can see through it, but it's not, you know, the clearest beer ever. The head is going down uh, somewhat quickly, and it's one of the reasons I'm kind of yammering and let it go down a little bit. But let's get to the proper aroma. Mm. 
So, and I'm glad that this happened. We, I, I'm filming this the day after I did a live stream, and I was talking about um, there was this mystery beer I did, and I thought it was a Kolsch, but actually was a Spanish company doing a session IP, like 4.5%. And I was getting, like, ale, but then this lager funk. And every time I say that, like, lager funk, I then always have to qualify. Like, I don't mean... Uh, like wet horse blanket or something like that, like not that level of funk. And Matt from Massive uh, Beers was like, I've gotten that too, and it reminds me a little of kombucha. And it is that thing. So, I, so I'm so glad he said that because now I have a little bit more of an act. Because it was always for me really difficult. I'm like, it's not that, but it's like a little earthy, but not how I typically use the word earthy when doing beer reviews. And I needed something better. And yeah, it's, it's got a little bit of that kombucha thing. So I think because of Although it's an ale, how, you know, the lagering process was more like a lager, you are getting a little bit of that, like, kombucha thing. I think probably the hibiscus is playing into that as well. You do get lemon zest and some, like, orange as well. But I'm going to say it's more lemon. A little bit of straw. It, it's... I just want to say it's a very refreshing smelling beer, which is not the best way to describe something, but it, it has, it's like, this is, you can kind of tell, like, this is going to be thirst quenching, you know? And the other thing I'm going to say, I'm going to wait till I drink it. Cheers. So you do get more of the hibiscus specific thing on the palate. It, it doesn't drink like straight like if you're drinking hibiscus tea and you're like i wonder what this would taste like you know as a beer not in a beer but as a beer it doesn't taste like hibiscus tea morphed into a beer but it does drink very much like uh, hibiscus is a an addition the thing i was going to say about the aroma but you also going to taste this why i'm waiting till right now to talk about it i have used this before in reviews where I say it tastes like honey without the sweetness. And it's so applicable because this beer actually does have honey in it. You, It's hard to divorce yourself from honey having a taste plus it's sweet, you know, because you're just used to it's a sweet thing. But honey does have a very specific taste. This has that. Uh, I've had it in beers where there wasn't a honey addition. So it's kind of cool, like, okay, this descriptor I've used before that most people seem to, you know, be cool with and gel with and every once in a while someone's like i don't know what you're talking about that's like ah but this has honey and i'm getting the same thing so i was right you know it's kind of like a cool if nothing else about this beer i feel validated about that which is cool there's a nice granny smith apple pear hybrid so it's fruity in that way um, the aftertaste is very, uh, biscuity, grainy that way, which I like. Um, I am a fan of that. Um, and like I was saying, the aroma, how you could tell it was like going to be a refreshing beer. And admittedly, I have had this beer, but, um, it is, it's just so refreshing. And it's, it's refreshing in a way that it, it commands your attention enough while still being crushable, you know? And I think if it was, you know, just a straight Kolsch, it might be harder to uh, keep my attention. And again, like in this live stream, the, the guys were busting my chops because I don't drink, I don't do a lot of lagers or, or drink a lot of lagers that aren't like Baltic porters um, or like the uh, Frank, uh, Jack's Abbey, you know, like bourbon barrel aged uh, big porters. Um, wait, where was I going with this? Lower ABV. I don't drink a lot of them. I just lost my train of thought. I thought I was rolling with that in this. Oh, sorry, yeah, I just lost my train of thought. Um, They're busting my chops about lower ABV beers and I don't drink a lot of them. Oh, so I could just drink Kolsch's and they wouldn't, they wouldn't, um, I won't say they wouldn't pique my interest, but they wouldn't like make me stop to contemplate them, typically speaking, right? I would just be like, yep, these are it's hot weather, got a bunch of nice cold Kolsch's, go, 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 kind of a thing. Whereas this one, you're like 80% that way, but the extra 20%, it's like, wait, there's something unique there. There's a couple unique things. And I think them using hibiscus, at least for my palate, makes this a much more interesting beer than if I was just drinking a Kolsch, like a straight Kolsch. 
and the honey as well. Um, but yeah, super refreshing and it's just it's good beer. You could see too how, a, you know, well, the Florida Keys Brewery, but how in the Florida Keys, you know, nice weather, this would be a beer that people would want to go to. You have the cool name with, you know, the connection with the iguana to the hibiscus. I, it's just, it's really cool. It's unlike things I typically drink and review and the fact that I'm enjoying it so much is really rad. So thank you guys for sending it. Like seriously, like I really appreciate it. I know I already told you that, uh, it, you know, with a DM, but I do, I really appreciate it. So make sure you guys check them out. Like it's just cool. And if you've only ever watched a couple of their videos and just kind of check in on them, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's different from my norm right now. Right. And it's cool. And it's just, they're a cool family and they're, they're doing their thing. And you can tell there's a lot of uh, love and enjoyment in their lives. And we need a lot of that right now. So yeah, check them out for sure. Uh, check me out on Instagram and I tapped no hype beer reviews at both those places. So always please like comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.